All right, guys, welcome back after the break. Let us quickly wrap up what we've learned today. So in today's lesson, we've looked at different words, language relating to tariffs, where we said a tariff is a charge, whether in rents or cents, per measuring unit for a specific service, right? Whether it's electricity, water, telephone bills, and so forth. We also looked at VAT inclusive and as well as VAT exclusive where we said, okay, VAT in South Africa has been charged at 15%. Furthermore, we looked at tariffs by saying a tariff is not also always constant. For example, the price per unit gets more expensive the more we use an item, for example, e electricity. We also indicated that we have a system, what we call prepaid, where we pay before we use, and then the opposite of it is postpaid, where we pay after our usage, right? Then we indicated that our lesson today is based on tariffs, but more specifically, we looked at water tariffs and electricity tariffs. What else do I want you to keep in mind? Some common errands or stuff that you keep in mind when you do calculations, right? So I said here, yeah, remember, VAT is charged at 15%. In our country, VAT is 15%, no longer 14%. Also, to calculate the cost, we take the tariff, multiply by the total number of kilowatt hour used. So that is for electricity. Now prepaid, you take the tariff, multiply by the number of kilowatt hours used. Then also cost, sometimes it will include a service charge. So you take the service charge plus the tariff multiplied by the total number of kilowatt hours used. Then I indicated here, make sure that you correctly substitute into a formula. All right? Step one formula. Step two, substitute into your formula. Step number three, you simplify with the correct units and you write your final answer in its simplest form. Then lastly, I indicate here, always read the instructions and the context carefully before answering any question. As you've seen now in today's lesson, a lot of information was given to us. We needed to make sure we know where to slot in what information. All right. Now, before I say goodbye to you guys, I want to leave you with a challenge for this upcoming week, and I hope you're ready. Let's see what our challenge is all about. I'm saying here, due to the implementation of the suggested water saving strategies, the Breeds family's monthly water consumption for the period 1st of the second month 2023 up until the 28th of February 2023 decreased by 30% from the previous period, that is now from the first of the first month 2023 up until the end of the first month 2023. Then, Mrs. Breed claimed that they have saved more than 250 rand during the month of February 2023 as a result of the decreased usage. Right, so your aim for this week, your instructions, use the information on the slide as well as the information on the next slide to verify whether a statement is correct or not. And very important, show all your calculations. So I'm going to say again, use the information on this slide as well as the information on the next slide to verify whether a statement is correct or not. And importantly so, show all your calculations. What is the given to us? Here we have the domestic water tariffs that indicates the rates to us, how much we'll pay in each category, basically. Also on your right hand side, we have the water period, the period for the water, the previous meter reading, as well as the new meter reading, then the total bill, including water usage and sewerage. Then a note here that says sewerage is an additional cost that is equals to 65% of the water bill the Breed's household consists of six members, and then the suggested daily water consumption is 60 liters per person. Guys, I am sure you will tackle this one. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you soon. Guys, please remember to work every day. Stay safe and take care. See you next time.